So first of all, uh, we evaluated the sensitivity of the instrument, and actually uh, the sensitivity turns out to be extremely high. We were able to really record weak binder of very small size. For example, in this graph on the left, you can see a binder which is double digit micromolar on the GPCR, and we were really able to still record the, the kinetic data of, of this compound. So in addition of that, uh, we can acquire data at 40 Hz, which is uh, always very nice for very um, weak binders with very fast k-off. Uh, and it opens up fragment screening on membrane proteins. For us, sensitivity is a really a crucial point because when we purify a membrane protein, the percentage of activity is never super high and we really need sensitivity. But there are a couple of other features of this instrument which are although very great for us. Um, for example, in the middle of the slide, you can see the robustness for crude lysate analysis. So that means we, we can actually work with non-purified sample. And this is quite important for us because it saves time when we try to uh, screen for condition of solubilization of membrane protein, for example. So it really opens up the way for detergent buffer screening and early check on protein functionality. And then of course, which uh, one important point as well for this presentation is the new development of the wave rapid combined to automated and flexible software. So this is, as I will uh, present you, so I don't spend too much time here uh, in the second part of the presentation, uh, that allows us to increase our lab productivity.